guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am grabbing Calisan balloons, a beautiful color palette, and BCT printed butterfly balloons. And we are going outside to construct something beautiful. You guys, I had to pick the hottest day, of course. It's very hot and humid so we'll test Calisan and BCT balloons to the fullest. Also working with Else Paper Boutique template. It's gonna be something pretty. And without any further ado, let's go. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video. Let's construct. Starting out about laying down my template from Else Paper Boutique. Now I need to tape it and cut it out. In this template, you guys, you can print a left or right wing or you can print both of the wings. So I started with a left wing. I wanted to see how big it was and how much space it will take on my foam board. So seems like it's looking good. Let's tape, as I said, and cut it out. It's cut out. Let's apply this template to our foam board. Here I am with the big insulation foam board. I have two chairs at the bottom holding this sheet of insulation on top. I got this foam board at Home Depot or Lois sells it as well. I lined my template on top. I'll use a Sharpie to trace it and I'll show you how I am thinking to cut this thicker foam board. because this foam is thicker than a usual foam board that I use from uh, the stores. I decided to try the soldering iron and some nails. Why nails? Because the tip on the soldering iron is too short and a little thicker than I would like and I need for the tip to cut through the foam completely. So I want to try a few um, nails to insert, heat it up and see if that's gonna be a better idea and better solution for me to cut through the foam. So I decided not to use any nails because nails are way too thin and my screws are not holding the nails because they're way too thin. So what I decided here is to unscrew the screw and pull out the tip and made it a little bit longer. In the description under this video, I will leave a link for the actual proper tool to cut through foam. It's much, much better. Well, that didn't last long. I was pushing on it and look at this, it bended. Cheap stuff, $6, not gonna get you through that. <laughs> so I finally finished uh, cutting this butterfly out. It took forever. I tried to use a knife, but it was dragging the foam so badly that it would leave like ridges and it didn't look good. So that was the best thing to use is that hot tool. So now I'm taking sandpaper and I am going inside of the cutouts and outside and cleaning these little guys over here because when I'll spray paint, these will not look good whatsoever. And when I was testing a sandpaper, my thingy right here broke, so I would have to hot glue it or do something to it. So, gold spray paint, let's do this. go over all of the balloons that I have here. As you can see, I am working with Calisan and including BCT printed balloons. These are butterfly printed balloons in 13 inch. I have two bags. This row, standard yellow 511. This macaroon salmon is next. I have a whole bunch of sizes here. 18, 12, 5, 24. And this pop of color that I have here is standard lime green 5 and 12 inch balloons. So let's start with macaroon salmon. I have 12 inch balloons and inflating them at the same time. To give your balloons more rounder shape, you just press your balloons against the floor, yourself, against the table, it doesn't really matter, and your balloons will instantly become rounder. Then I am tying them into a pair and inflating a few more pairs, and then I will be combining pairs into clusters or quads. So we'll see what we're gonna 
come up with. Let's inflate other colors to see how they look. Love how vibrant this color is. And the most exciting part of it all, for me at least, are these beautiful printed balloons from BCT. Look at them. gorgeous you guys how gorgeous i love them look how stunning i absolutely love it and let me show you the full color palette with the other balloons that i just inflated how everything's going to look together and look how pretty these colors look absolutely stunning i love how these are really close in color even though they have in different shades but they're like muted macaroon macaroon means pastel looking colors and these are super bright and into your face love it so much let's inflate the rest of the balloons and to create something gorgeous here's what i have you guys after quite some time i finally finished with the inflation of balloons i do have different varieties here i did leave this lime green color individually in quads i did connect quads into like smaller sections of balloon garlands i connected two quads three four five quads together to create different varieties i also have a five inch mini balloon garlands i did use legenda to inflate all of my five inch balloons for these guys over here i used 0.5 timer on my legenda and for these guys over here you can see the difference in size i did use 1.0 timer for them so there's like half weight difference in inflation and i do have a whole bunch of balloons over here in two colors so let's pack everything into bags and let's go outside Alrighty guys, this is my final setup. Not exactly what I was hoping for from the style of this balloon garland, but I'm pretty happy with the final result. Today I went for a very minimalistic looking setup with just balloons and a little a half butterfly, but it looks very classy in my opinion. Nothing over the top, everything's to the point. I wanted to do, as I said, something a little bit different, more like of my previous balloon garland, kind of practice more on using five inch balloons in uh, actual structure of the base of the balloon garland, but the hanging part of this balloon garland on the shed threw me off. So I had to improvise there. I had to use a pole on this side. I had to search for nails. I had to go through shingles here with fishing line. I mean, it was, it was something. <laughs> this butterfly is literally sitting on flowers like a real butterfly you should if you're going to be doing this for a client you need to tie it to the balloons and to the bush so it would stay in one place i really loved bct balloons kalasan did amazing i did lost a few no wonder it was very hot and i was uh, using balloons against the uh, roof and roof is a little bit um, with texture and it was 
hot because it's literally almost black. So no surprise there. BCT balloons held up very nicely as well. Five inch balloons are holding up super nicely too. Um, little bugs really love <laughs> the balloons and overall you guys absolutely love what I've created. I used in salmon peach i used or inflated four bags of five inch balloons i inflated uh, i believe three packs of 12 inch balloons practically the same amount with yellow as well i know you guys are asking about the quantity and i really want to tell you that quantity of the balloons will depend on a style of a balloon artist it's impossible for me to tell you 300 balloons and you will repeat what i have here with 300 balloons or vice versa because i think differently i construct with balloons differently and for me it might take 300 balloons but for you it might take 350 or 270 all depends what kind of technique you're using so it's kind of pointless for me to tell you how many balloons I used because as I said multiple times, every balloon artist thinks differently. So overall, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Absolutely love this color palette. Go check out Calison and BCT Balloons for beautiful colored balloons. I'm obsessed. I don't want to take this down. Really don't want to. And thank you so much, Else Paper Boutique, for provided template for this butterfly. Honestly, if I had more time, a little bit more time, I would cut out more butterflies, more half butterflies, and put them everywhere. It would look epic. But with that hot tool, cutting these out is just impossible. It takes too much time. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful color palette from Calison and these amazing looking BCT printed balloons. I will link everything in the description under the video. Go ahead and check it out. Don't forget my storefront on Amazon. I also link everything in there as well. Every single supply, every single thing that I use in my videos. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas and i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye